What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another Sketchup extension overview for you. So this week we're going to check out an extension that allows you to space and align objects within Sketchup. Before we get started, I want to thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Nicole Brigham, Jeremy Theron, and Alexander Friere. On Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the uh, perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So this week, um, my patrons voted, and there was actually a tie. So this is the first of the two extensions from Curic. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Curic Space. Plugin developer, Curic. Plugin cost, it's free. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse or by visiting the link in the notes below. Tool functions. Curic Space is an extension that gives you several options for spacing objects evenly within SketchUp. The simplest function of Curic Space is to select multiple different objects, then select the axis along which you'd like to space your objects. You can then type in a value to set the spacing of those objects. Note that just like with the Move tool, you can keep entering new spacing values and hitting the Enter key as long as you don't click elsewhere within your model. In addition, you can also space along multiple axes by clicking on a new axis and typing in a value. This is where this extension is more powerful than the Move tool in Copy Mode because you can select objects that have already been created and equally space them really easily. And you have the ability to do that in multiple different directions. Curic Space also contains an object duplication tool. To activate it, simply click on a single instance of an object, then click on the Curic Space icon. You can type in the number of copies you'd like to make Click on an axis and then type in the spacing that you'd like. Note that you can go back and space across multiple axes. You can also use Curic Space to space objects around a circle or around a curve by drawing a circle, selecting your objects, and then clicking on them. You can adjust the angle at which the copies are made by typing in new values and hitting the Enter key, allowing you to create different effects using different angles around the circle that you've drawn. This can be especially useful for objects that you've already created that you need to go back and make changes to. In the next video, we're going to talk about another extension from Curic that allows you to align different objects in SketchUp. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what, what you think about this extension. I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.